In this video we're going to look at multiplying fractions. So let's have a look at two fractions, we're going to multiply them together. So let's do two thirds multiplied by um, one quarter. To multiply fractions is really simple. You multiply the numerators, the top numbers, and you multiply the denominators, the bottom numbers. So two times one is two, and three times four is 12. So the answer is two twelfths. Remember to cancel this down though, because these are both divisible by two, so your answer would be one over 6, or 1 sixth. Let's look at another example. Uh, if I had uh, 4 over 5 multiplied by 1 over 3, 4 times 1 is 4, and 5 times 3 is 15. And that's it. We're going to look at a couple more examples now. Before we do those, look at the video on improper fractions to um, mix numbers, or top-heavy fractions to mix numbers. So you want to be able to change those. Okay, we're now going to do 5 multiplied by 2 thirds. So to do a whole number, an integer, multiplied by a fraction, I always put the, the whole number over 1, because 5 is the same as fives, 5 wholes. So, 5 over 1 multiplied by 2 over 3, well we just use the same method as before, we multiply the top numbers together, 5 times 2 is 10, and 1 times 3 is 3. So 5 multiplied by 2 thirds is 10 thirds. Now, what I would tend to do is, um, this is a top-heavy fraction, so we want to change it into a mixed number. Remember to watch that video if you don't know how to do that. So, the line means divide, so you see how many 3's go into 10. Well, 3 3's go into 10 with a remainder of 1. And the number we're dividing by is 3, so it stays in the denominator. So the answer is 3 and 1 third. Finally, sometimes you have to multiply together two mixed numbers. For instance, 2 and a half multiplied by 5 and a quarter. So make them both top-heavy fractions to begin with. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, so that's 5 halves. Multiplied by 5 times 4 is 20, plus 1 is 21 quarters. We want to multiply the top numbers together and multiply the bottom numbers together. Well, 5 times 21, well, I'm going to use the group method for that. So, over here, 5, multiply, oh, five multiplied by 21. 5 times 2 is 10, add on the 0, 5 times 1 is 5, add them together, 105. So I get 105 divided by 8. So I've got 105 eighths as my answer. Now this is a top heavy fraction, so I want to change it into a mixed number. So I'm going to want to see how many eighths go into 105. I'm going to have to do a division for that. Okay. So I'm going to use short division, 105 divided by 8. So 8 doesn't go into 1. Remainder 1, 8 into 10 goes once, remainder 2, and 8 into 25 goes uh, 3 times, remainder 1. So 8 goes into 105, 13, remainder 1. So the answer would be 13, and the remainder goes in the top line, and 8 stays in the bottom. So the answer is 13, eight, uh, 13 and 1 eighth.